this is the only way most of us will ever encounter a polar bear, at the zoo. We are protected from this massive carnivore by concrete, steel, and super thick plexiglass. But head way up north to Hudson's Bay, and you're in their territory, in Ontario's Polar Bear Provincial Park. It's estimated about a thousand polar bears call this part of the province home. However, this is a species in trouble, and under the Endangered Species Act, its status has been changed from that of special concern to threatened. The populations in Hudson Bay are, are in trouble. Renowned biologist Dr. Martin Sorry. Obard leads a team of scientists with Ontario's Ministry of Natural Resources. For years, he and his colleagues have tracked polar bears. Once one of the big bears is tranquilized, important measurements and samples are taken. The results have been alarming. Well, we've got uh, dramatic declines. Bears in all age and sex groups are about 15 to 20 percent lighter now on average than they were 20 to 25 years ago. So it's a dramatic difference. The problem? Climate change. The sea ice is melting earlier in Hudson Bay than it did 20 or 30 years ago, which means that the seals uh, um, are less available to the polar bears. The polar bears have got fewer weeks in which they can fatten up on seals. Simply put, without ice, the bears have no way of hunting seals, and seal meat comprises almost 100 percent of their diet. It's a big problem that has the attention of the Ministry of Natural Resources. The southern populations, especially, of polar bears are giving us an early warning sign and, and a wake-up call that, uh, cli look, climate change is having dramatic effects on wildlife species, that, you know, we need to do something about this. And the message is that, in fact, as individuals, we can do something about it. And uh, what we have to do is figure out how to reduce our carbon emissions, whatever that takes. If we can do that, decades from now, the zoo won't be the only place polar bears call home.